I got the idea for my desert project the night after that flight over the salt caravan, when I started to wonder what I would find if I took my flying machine to other deserts like the Gobi, the Atacama, or the empty quarter of Saudi Arabia. I started going after them one at a time and it took me 15 years to fly in all 27 countries plus Antarctica. I can fly for about two hours before running out of fuel, which is enough as in the desert there's really more than two hours of calm morning air or good light to fly in. I never get completely comfortable in flight as that's how you get hurt. I'm a photographer who flies, not a pilot who takes pictures, and it's hectic doing both at the same time. In the air I'm always attentive as there's always something new to learn. In that regard, my Desert Air book is like a photo album of one of the most extraordinary environments on Earth, one that virtually no one has ever seen. I found these deserts to be like a fascinating family with similarities and unique qualities as well. It's kind of a crazy experience doing this kind of fuel work. I've got a motor strapped to my back and it's, it's, it's whining. I'm checking the fuel, I'm checking my altitude, looking at the wind, trying to take pictures and worry about my own safety. But at the same time, I realize I'm in these really unique places, places that in many cases no one's ever seen from above before. And it, it's, it's a privilege, it's something, it's an experience that, that, I, that I really want to try to share with the rest of the world. And the only way I can do that is, is through my pictures.